a woman with an axe handle. It was his girlfriend. And the rumor was he buried her alive. He buried her in the area that I grew up in, if I remember correctly. I've been trying to call my dad since yesterday to, to, to confirm the whole story because I literally forgot about this until yesterday. But the, the woman died and he got arrested. Uh, if he's still alive, he's in prison for life because he got caught because he left South Carolina after the murder and came back for his paycheck. Let me tell you something else. His other brother, I don't know if him and Kwame were close, but his other brother shot his baby mama several times and then killed himself. That was like an 08. And his other brother, Kwame's other brother, just went to jail for murder like three years ago. All of this you can Google. I'm saying all that to say, leave Kwame Please. alone. That man leave has been alone. quiet for 20 years. He don't bother nobody. Clearly all that, you know, all, all that he's a bust stuff gets to him. And you don't know what people are going through or have been through, but I've seen folks snap for less. And it looks like, you know, Kwame is snapping. And if you look at the history of men in his family, you would know his, his men in his family have a history of snapping. Leave Kwame. To bring violence to someone, sir? See, it's funny how you just got right on and you just created a matter. You notice what you said, you bitch boy that bleached your skin? You know what you said? Jack and Matt Barnes are my friend. Yeah, what I told y'all, it's the go along, get along game. It's the peanut gallery. And I don't fuck with your kind, punk. Any nigga that ain't, that, that's gonna bleach his skin and break up with some pussy, you punk motherfucker. Well, I ain't gonna say bitch, because I know that young lady went through a traumatizing experience dealing with your stank raccoon face ass. So you have to rape and drug young ladies to get pussy, you punk bitch. And they got your bitch ass still on the radio because they know that little punk ass shit that you do and that shit that you push, showing that shit to these black boys, throwing bunkies at grown ass men, you punk. If you would have did that to a woman, that would have been sexual assault. But see, they, they got your dumb ass in position to disrespect men. So now when you see a strong, full-bodied man, now you keep wanting to say that's violent. I'm sitting in my car, bitch. You niggas sad. You niggas sad. I'm not ethering y'all. Y'all are ethering yourself. Everything, everything that I said you punk motherfucker was gonna do, you, you guys are actually doing it. Stephen A actually pretended like he was a basketball guru and he destroyed a black man's name. You know why? For money. See, that's what y'all don't wanna get to. That's why y'all wanna keep all calling me angry. All this was about money. Stephen A is a fucking pawn. There were five guys that was top five in my draft class that came out of high school, motherfucker. And colleges were losing money because there were going to be like 10, 15 that come out of high school after that. And then they started saying, oh, hell no. You ain't fucking with white daddy money. We got to get these black boys to continue going to these white schools. That's why I shout out to Master P and his sons. See, most of you motherfuckers dumb and listen to stupid ass bitches like Charlemagne the God and old punk ass beta male DJ Envy. Bitch, you ought to not be talking about male issues, you punk motherfucker. You don't see Bill Gates running around doing a whole goddamn cheating tour, you punk bitch. The white boy was able to cheat like a man. Break off, break up like a man. Your bitch ain't getting drugged around like a puppy on a leash, ho. You shut your bitch ass up when I'm talking. The fuck you talking about? You another light-skinned bitch. Fuck you mean? And I got a lot of light-skinned friends, but you two niggas ain't one of them. And Charlemagne, you trying to be